And so what it means, Tom Serson, Jim Riley, Joe Zillig, Harry Race, Bernard Lachance, DJ Dave, Billy De Quinn, Juan Elton Anderson, Don Wiley, 1961, Oyster Cracker Man, Bitty Bat 4, Blue Boy Boxes, Tomb Raider Boy, Comic Book Boy, GPS, Passel Robo, Rapist Knight, Red Randy, Red Gordon, and Ellery, Jim Hall, Bill DeVoe, um, Doug King. It actually means that the group of you, Bernard, made life harder for yourselves as opposed to just leaving stuff alone. So, like I said, we have the Fun Four surfboard and Tommy's four blue boxes there, or the Humphreys one. And then, um, let's see. Hey, you, I, you wanted it this way. Um, boy building sound castle. You guys wanted it this way, Robo Rapist Night. So basically, uh, Quebec knows that they're four blue, right? And then you get the four here. It's um, the Antilla Man, or, you know, the Robo Rapist Night, you know, trying to assert that they're you know, we're saving the earth with their comic book delusion of Fantastic Four or Captain America. But really, like I said, you guys put that stuff in and trashed everything and dudes all scrambling around to cover it up yet again. So in your guys' relentless pursuit to make God, even that's incorrect and that's why you got hillbilly stink and ghetto stink everywhere because you guys chose the Antilla, lie, the Antilla man after they stole, Dave and them stole everything and changed it all around. Karen and all you guys, Taco Joe, and then you guys make your assault, oh, go after the, like I said, now we know why Pearly just said, go after the Jews are blue. <laughs> like I said, now we know why my, my face is all mangled up with the Schwartzes or Kathleen or, or any of the blue girls, P.T. Cruiser, Julie and all that. That's what you spy on everything, Perlita with Ellery and all that's not too hard. And then to the man, so the, the three of you men were sitting there fighting over shit that don't belong to you. Dave runs around, you're not a pittance, stealing shit. The two girls in the black and white, the two girls in in, in, in the in Aurora, you guys are obsessing over. And then you know Harry and them had to have their own version of the two girls, uh, or Bernard and his sicko way, and Bailey and Kim, or then my cousins Holly and Amanda. It's not too really hard to figure out you guys' obsession that at one time it worked until you know Google Duncan and all them got involved with it, and Doug Joe and all that. I gotta have mine too. But like I said, the two little girls, man, they're figuring it out. The girls are getting smarter. They know they're special princesses. They're just missing something. And that's what happens when you remove something for your pathetic need there, Joe. Get it? You break bonds. And then people's faces, teeth, and get all messed up while dudes all proud of it. Oh, we saved the world. No, stuck up in the air like Ellery and Perlita. Please. Arcs and stuff. How did you guys fix eugenics or, you, you know, correct the genetic code? Tell me. Tell me how Bernard and Ellery, as you guys stole it and ran around doing whatever you wanted in your car, you bounce around. So it means those guys lifted the kid down there. Thought it was me or you guys actually killed me down there or in Michigan, you know, and then set it back and going, well, they won't know the difference. Well, dude carries on with his comic book story, fucking up everybody's shit, which was probably what made everything come tumbling down anyway out here. As soon as he, oh, we know who God is, smash, and that guy just keeps going. It's too easy. Yeah, if you guys wanted to work and work hard and live in a miserable, shitty life because you wanted to abuse those beings there, Harry and Joe. Oh, they let you. They didn't abuse the people before Lockheed even set in. I mean, what is it going to penetrate you guys' skull? Hillbillies. War of the Worlds. Carnies, ghetto life. When it when is it gonna penetrate? The group of you men bullying on the four of us boys is just enough. But then the four Schwartzes or any other family, the Katiers, the Beswicks of three Bernard. All it is is you, Bernard, in your bullshit assertion of your BB4 comic book theory of the NATO four still with Red Randy and all of them. And the Carney Tank sloppy second dump. And you guys are wondering why you guys, everything's all fucked up. Torture them to figure out why it works. Here, poke their eyes. We didn't. Yeah, you did. Well, Ellery and Bernard. Yeah, you did. Screw up their ears. Wee, wee. Indian faded out so nobody knows. Because you're a rapist and pedophile, cowboy pick. Harry J. Race, they're all covering for your dumb faggot football ass. That's what you, you, you're the part of the brotherhood. But don't squeal on us, don't snitch. And then your Eden boy who has the cleft chin like Ellery and shit. You all are all trying to do it like secret agent like and shit. And the Negroes are all trying to help with their crappy eye faked out shit. You guys stole it, Joe. That's why you got dunked, like I said, and tossed coins, Joe. 
Liar Joe, here he comes. Britches keeps lying about the rape of peaches. <laughs> dunk, dunk, you murdered his kid, Joe. And then you take it and try to do Kill Bill. And then, like I said, Bernard, Menard. Kill Bill. <laughs> what was the other one? I was close to Kill Bill, but whatever. I mean, give me a break, hillbillies. You're pulling, you're, you're, you guys are grasping for strings. So they let you Jerry Springer ghetto style country and western and Perlita with him and, you know, <laughs> you guys' this fight over that cross is going to pretty much end up screwing up your lives, hillbillies. That's why you guys are all jacked up. I'm pretty sure that's what the fight was across your pilgrimage with that man. So you know history tells the tale. And they covered all the, oh, put it in a tube, black out their brains. They can't know. <laughs> we know. Those girls tried to fix it and you guys jack it all up. To live in a shit stained pile with a fucking nobody. <laughs> so that's what I did, what I did. So the police officers, firefighters, the FBI, CIA, and all them, and the tech companies and the military guys could get a chance to, you know, recover from the groups of you civilians and your protest about how great it is to be the stolen rainbow, the intellifact gay, and the all American. And then the Kill Bill and all that crap over you guys is anti-Jew, Russian, and Japanese. So go ahead, this cowboy man ran back over there. Look, we're God now. After they stole, we, we love you. Typical Western style shit. So you guys, I guess, <laughs> that's why it all worked. Harry and Joe and Perlita. Because like I said, you guys like to torture and rape and mutilate people for, for the cowboy hillbilly culture way of Pucko Joe. <laughs> That's our culture. So they let you. They let you, Karen and Brian, but it wasn't a great idea. You should have just left me alone so I could have worked with some of these people to get it to go again so you guys didn't get all nasty and have to rebirth into trash. So, I, I guess. Football! There you go, Red Randy. <clears throat> <laughs> my dad's stupid no you guys are stupid for jacking his stuff because it, it's enough alarms and then screwing with Ron Miller and them too you know people you know work all Bueller you know Mel, Mel Cobe I, I would have stuck with the Jews I would have because they probably had it all on Kapar until Mr. Man threw a tizzy fit that the world didn't fucking you know surround him center around him so we know Bernard who came up through probably in, in defiance of Colin Powell because he was probably a nigger too right right so I'm a nigger too and you know and all the other ones boys to men all that crap you know white sands white purity you guys his obsession over that is fucking tearing you to shit so I like I said let the oppressors win and let them look make them fools of themselves